Welcome to podcast episode 18. We are continuing in our series about one thing that you can do to boost your health and live longer. Now, many times when we hear about health and doing things that help us to maintain it, we often hear the pairing of exercising. But just how much exercise is really good for us? And what is it that those that live the longest do to keep themselves in shape and really check off that box for exercise? Join me today. Hey, this is Dr. Monique Adu, a pediatrician turned homeschool mom and keeper of my home. Welcome to my podcast, Sustainable Living for the Family, Health, and Home. In this podcast, we are going to be talking about all things sustainability and always striving to live our best in terms of the life-giving practices that we can do to build longevity and to fulfill our purpose in life. We are going to be talking about things concerning our family, home, gardening, homeschooling, health, nutrition, and so much more. I'm so glad you're here. Now, exercise definitely is something that is important for all of us to take part in, whether we're young or old, in the middle, anywhere in between, keeping our bodies moving gives, gives us a vibrancy and increased health. It moves fluids throughout our body. It helps us to sweat and remove toxins from our body. It keeps our muscles in shape. It keeps us from losing muscle mass. By using our muscles every day, we prevent the issues that may come when muscles are underused. It helps us to maintain tone throughout our body and keeps us honestly in vital health by moving important nutrients and fluids all throughout our body to be distributed to our heart, our lungs, our kidneys, our liver, our brain, skin, you name it. Moving around each day helps us to maintain optimal health. But when we hear about exercise, oftentimes we are hearing about the recommendations for really rigorous, rigorous movement, getting as much movement in a short period of time as we can. But is this rigorous and heavy duty movement actually good for our bodies? I always like to go ahead and do some observational studies for myself by looking and seeing collectively what other people around the world are doing. What are other people around the world that are living the longest doing as compared to us in the United States? There are people around the world that do not have a gym. They do not have a track to run on. They do not get up early in the morning and run 10 miles, yet they are trim, lean, sharp in mind, and they are living long, specifically those in the blue zones, which I had mentioned in other podcasts. These are the people, the centenarians that are living really wonderful, healthy lives, especially when coupled with relationships, a strong spiritual foundation, and just taking care of themselves and others around them. They are living that optimal life. But many of these people are not hitting the gym hard every day. So how are they keeping slim and trim? 
they are doing continuous and persistent movements throughout the day. When we do continuous and persistent regular movements throughout our day, we keep our body in shape, we keep things moving, we keep things flowing, and this collectively will give us that trim, tone, and healthy feeling in our body and mind. So when you hear about the need for exercise, don't be discouraged that you're not the type of person to get up, strap on those sneakers and go running down the block or go joining the next gym. You can save so much money too by just doing regular movements throughout the day. Think about things that you can do in your day that help to promote that continuous movement. It's something that is moderate in activity that brings your heart rate up, but doesn't put stress on your joints and your bones and make you feel so winded that you feel defeated even before you begin. All of us have to start at the level that we can manage and then move up as our bodies become acclimated to the activity that we're giving it. But just reflecting and doing my own observational studies, looking at these people that are moving and moving so well through and past retirement age, I just found it so interesting that they are not pounding the pavement necessarily, but they are getting up, taking care of their garden, cleaning up in their house, walking if they have it, pathways, mountain sides, getting in that vitamin D from the sunlight, getting air into their lungs, taking care of other people, and doing this continuously. Finding purpose in their life and moving around, making those moderate movements that help to keep their body strong and help to build bone strength help to build muscle mass by not staying sedentary. So think about what are some things that you can do. If you tend to be at the desk a lot, try and see if you can stand for some of the time that you're working at the desk. You don't always have to sit or schedule some breaks that you can do in between through that sitting period so that you're not continuously sitting throughout your day. Or how about parking your car so that it's not so, so right, right where you are on exit, but just a little bit further away so that you can get some steps in that way. Taking care of a project in your home yourself, saving you money as well and getting your heart mo moving, pumping, breaking a sweat. Taking a little walk if you'd like in the day doing about 30 minutes of moderate physical activity. Just what are some things that you can easily do throughout your day? Taking the steps instead of the elevator. So many different things if you just, if you're really purposeful and thinking about what you can do. So don't be dismayed when you hear health gurus talking about getting your physical activity in and pounding the pavements and doing these boot camp like activities honestly this can even cause undue stress to your bones and joints and a release of stress chemicals in your system that can actually be non-beneficial rather than helpful Instead of a boot camp like physical activity, try and take those continuous, persistent, moderate steps of activity throughout your day so that when all is added up, you will have done way more than you can, you could have even thought of in comparison to doing a heavy, short spout of activity. Instead of running that large sprint, do those continuous moderate physical 
activities throughout your day so that you win the race in the end. I hope this was helpful for you. And as always, do all you can to be more and more sustainable. And until next time, be blessed. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for listening and joining me in on this podcast. Please leave a review below so that others can hear about a podcast that you have found value in and enjoy. You can follow me on my website at www.drmoniqueadu.com as well as my YouTube channel, Sustainable Living for Family, Health, and Home.